Here at UWA, there are close to 25,000 students that have to commute to get to labs, lectures and tutorials every day. And you have to wonder how they all get here. Uh, I take the bus. Most days I catch two buses to get here. Having to cycle all the way to the train station and then catch the train to Perth City and then from there I take the bus to 50. I usually catch the bus, yeah, um, but if I'm running late I'll drive. I, I usually bus it from my house, it's not too far. For students who choose to drive, however, finding a parking spot can be stressful and challenging. Parking's too difficult and I'm first year I can't get a parking permit. Yeah, when you do find parking, they're often quite narrow and hard to get into, so that's another issue. I, I absolutely hate driving to uni. On some days, I drive my car and park on a suburb near here. Well, to be honest, I'm not very happy about the parking offer here. Like, it's really expensive, and this morning I went to like three different spots before I found a parking lot. It's been like 25 minutes. Even if I leave my house like an hour early, I'm still driving around trying to find a spot. And then I'm late for lectures, so yeah. We are here at Unipark to talk to Gary Jones, the campus operation manager, about the issue of student parking. Um, the university is responding to the high demand in, in two very important ways. Um, the first is, is looking at the, uh, or we're reviewing the distribution of bays across campus, both staff and students, and we've also got contractors and, and so forth. Um, this will be, uh, be considered a part of the campus development plan that's currently being, being looked at. Those that drive may consider purchasing a parking permit, the cost of which is $175 per year. However, the permits are only available to full-time students who have completed at least 48 points of their degree. At the moment we're currently on about 3.83 permits um, per, per day available. Um, as most students are on campus full-time, we, um, we, we believe the optimum ratio so that we get the maximum use of our base is, is sitting at that, at that level. In an interview with Max Hipkins, Mayor of the Council of Netherlands, he expressed how the lack of university parking available is creating issues for the residents in Netherlands. Um, parking is one of our biggest uh, issues. Um, we are impacted by UWA and QE2 uh, because both those institutions have a parking cap on the maximum number of car spaces they can have on site and uh, it's never enough. We get a lot of people, students and nurses, um, parking within our residential areas and it causes quite a bit of friction with um, the residents. For students who are not allowed to get a permit or simply can't afford the fee, there are a few other options available. They may decide to park in surrounding residential areas or park in public lots around the university. However, this can be expensive and taking up residential street parking is an issue for residents. Is something that the university should have to face up to and, and acknowledge that they are generating a demand and, and uh, they've got the land there, they can, they can do it. Theoretically, if we build a thousand bay car park tomorrow, um, we would have a lot of happy people for a, for a short period of time, six to twelve months, but in a very short time we would fill that and the demand will still be there. And I think most students understand that because we are so close to the city, we do have restrictions on the number of bays that are available. Ultimately, there is a limit to the car parks available, and the university seems to be doing what they can to balance the demand with their limitations. Whilst parking at UWA can be frustrating, it seems that not much can be done, and students must simply make use of the current options available.